Hi, and welcome to LB0 Fox India Norwegian Hemp Ventures. I'm Morton, LB0 Fox India. And uh, I made a couple of videos on OpenGD77. Um, actually, I made one video on OpenGD77 and another where I talk about OpenGD77. On this radio, the Retivis RT3S. And uh, here's a picture of my cat because I guess a lot of you people need a little bit of calming down when uh, I'm going to say what I'm going to say. This radio was provided to me free of charge from Retivis in exchange for me doing a couple of videos on OpenGD77 on the RT3S. If this hits your angry spot, if this tickles your angry spot, please look at my cat. Please calm down. Take a deep breath. Press pause. Go make yourself a cup of tea. Calm down and Please do consider if you're going to keep watching the video. So, with the formalities out of the way, we're going to look at programming the uh, OpenGD77 today. And um, I'm going to switch over to the uh, CodePlug software, the CPS software, and we're going to program this radio from scratch. And the programming process is pretty much the same no matter which radio you use OpenGD77 on because the firmware is pretty much the same. So uh, please hang on and uh, we'll go on to programming the radio. So what you see here is my existing code plug, but uh, we're going to start from scratch. So uh, I'm going to start with a new code plug now, just for, for simplicity. And we're going to go through this from from top to bottom here, just to uh, to make this uh, make this code plug. First, you start with your uh, call sign and your DMR ID. Call sign. Um, I guess you know my call sign. I'll be zero Fox India. And this is my radio ID. This will be, don't use my radio ID, use your own. Once that is done, we're going to hit the boot screen menu here. And I like to keep this personalized. So I always put in my call sign and my phone number. We're going to leave the rest alone. Regarding band limits, just leave them as they are. Uh, there is no need to change that. DTMF settings, I haven't played around with anything that requires DTMF, so I've left those alone. The next thing we're going to do is build up a contact list here. You can see that there are a couple of talk groups there already. We're going to remove all of those. We're going to start from scratch, so I'm going to press delete selected. And I'm just going to put in a couple of talk groups here uh, just so uh, we can demonstrate so the first one is going to be talk group 99 sorry talk group 91 worldwide the call id or the talk group number is 91 it's a group call and i like to put uh contacts for both time slots here uh regarding if you're using a hotspot if you're using a repeater and depending on what the settings are for the repeaters this will make your life easier in the long run so we're going to save this as talk group 91 time slot one then we're going to add another it's going to be talk group 91 worldwide Time slot two. And that's going to be 91. It's going to be a group call. And we're going to force this on time slot two. We're going to add another group just for example here. We're going to add the Toads group, which is 3192083. It's a group call and we're going to put this in time slot one. It's a group call time slot one. We're going to add the same here. Time slot two, three, one, nine, two, zero, eight, three group call time slot two. And then we're going to add a parrot just so we know um, 
so that we get through. And I'm just going to add the Norwegian parrot here. And just checking my notes here. Uh, it's two four two nine nine seven. And when you uh, when you store a parrot, it's going to be private a private call. Time slot one. And we're going to do the same here. Time slot two. It's going to be a private call and time slot two. So that's pretty much it for the context we're going to put in today. Then we have some talk group lists. And this is where you can actually uh, suit this to, to fit your, your purposes. Uh, we're just going to close this window here. Uh, and I'm going to rename this to Hotspot. And I'm gonna I'm gonna put in my hotspot and a Brandmeister Norwegian re, uh, repeater here. So I'm gonna click the Brandmeister here, and I know that all of these are on time slot two on the Norwegian repeaters. So I'm just gonna add the time slot two here. If I was to add one of the uh, the other talk groups, such as talk group 242, which is Norwegian talk group, that is always on time slot one on the Norwegian DMR repeaters. But as of now, I'm just gonna add the time slot two context here. Uh, then I'm gonna do the hotspot, and my hotspot is also always time slot two, although it doesn't really matter if you call your hotspot, at least if it's a Pi Star hotspot on talk group one, it'll still work. But uh, just to make it right, we're gonna add like this. And this can be expanded depending on different DMR networks, hotspots, different places you are. This is gonna make your life a lot easier. Then we're gonna make two zones. We're gonna make an analog zone. And we're going to add a digital zone. Uh, probably just call it digital, though. So we have our analog and digital zones. This is where we put our channels. Now on to our channels. Uh, let's say, okay, we'll use this channel as an example, though. It's a digital channel, 434.500. And this is my hotspot, so this is simplex, so it's gonna be the same transmit and receive frequency. I call this hotspot, or let's just call it pi star. Now, for this, we can add our hotspot. The hotspot is color code one. We're not gonna put in a contact on this channel because the talk group list is gonna manage the talk groups in that list for this channel. So you don't have to add the channels separately as you have to do on, on other radios when programming DMR. So this is a far easier way of programming. It. We're just gonna leave the rest so we have our Pi Star channel. I'm gonna put this up here. We're gonna add another channel. Uh, this is also gonna be a digital channel. And this is the semi-local DMR repeater. It's 434.8125. And the shift is two kilohertz down sorry, uh, two megahertz down. So it's 432.8125. And 
I like to call this by the name, by the city uh, it's in, so it's easy for me to uh, to find out. This is a Brandmeister repeater, so I'm going to put in the Brandmeister talk group here. The color code is 1 on the repeater, I know that, so we're going to leave this as it is. So we have a couple of digital channels, then we're going to add a couple of analog channels here. And this is an analog channel. And this is my local repeater. And uh, it's narrow FM, so it's 12 and a half kilohertz. And this is a combined fusion and, uh, and FM repeater. So I'm going to put in tones on both transmit and receive on this one. So I can filter out the fusion traffic. And this is good. We're going to close that one and add another one. And if you ever come to Norway, this is probably the repeater you're going to add when you land on the uh, on the airport. Because this is the two meter repeater in Oslo. Uh, I'm not going to put in a receive tone here because this is an FM only re uh, repeater, but I'm going to have a transmit tone to open the squelch on the repeater. So we got our channels. Next up, we're going to enter the channels into our, uh, into our uh, zones. So, but let's see here. I should be able to remove the Pi Star as a member of this group though. Uh, let's see. Let's do the digital first. So we got our two digital repeaters here. And somehow I can't remove this. Okay, we're going to do this a different way. I'm going to press delete on that zone and we're going to make a new zone for it. So it's going to be called analog and we're going to put on our two analog repeaters here. Like this. And with this we're we're pretty much done. So uh, let's plug in the radio and uh, and transfer the code plug to the radio. And we're actually not completely done yet. I'm going to press the extras here. And there's a menu here called Open GD77 Support. And I'm going to install satellite information for satellite operation here. That's been installed. And we're also going to add the DMR database to the uh, to the radio here. If you press the extras here, and I know you can't see the menu, but there's a download call sign database there. This pops up. And we're just going to do every call sign. So I'm going to leave this region blank. And I'm going to press download from. Then it downloads the code plug database. It processes it, as you can see. And you get your list of call signs here. I'm going to press right to radio. Then it writes the entire DMR call sign database to the radio. And this takes a little while. There are a lot of contacts, so of course it takes a little while. <laughs> Yeah. 
And that actually takes <laughs> takes a while. So uh, do as I did. Speed up the video. Go get yourself a cup of coffee and uh, have that done. We're going to close this window now. So now we, ha we have the satellite info and we have the call sign database. Uh, one thing left to do is to press this little button here. Write to radio. And it pops up. It writes the code plug to the radio. Radio reboots. And now uh, let's see if the green screen handles this. We're up and running. Let's just try a parrot call on my hotspot. Um, we're in parrot, as you can see. LB0 Fox India testing parrot. LB0 Fox India testing parrot. And that works. And that's actually how easy you program uh, a code plug on an OpenGD77 radio. Thanks for watching. If you want to be kind to me, please do like, comment, and subscribe. If you want to annoy me, please do comment before you watch the video uh, and comment on issues I address in the video and claim that I haven't addressed them. That's a sure way of making me angry. But if you're going to do that, you probably haven't watched this far. Uh, so please do like, comment, and subscribe. <laughs> also, if you want to support the channel a little bit more, there are a couple of ways down below. You can either buy me a coffee or you can support the channel on Patreon if, if you want to do that. Uh, anyway, thank you for watching. And until next time, 7-3.